are live after their plane crashed into a storage facility in the South Sound. It happened Saturday shortly after takeoff. The men were badly hurt. They are still in the hospital recovering tonight. Investigators are now working to learn why that plane went down. And Fox 13's Nia Wong joins us from the airport where the plane took off. So, Nia, how are these men doing tonight? Those two men are still in the ICU, but they are awake. A Harborview spokesperson tells me they are expected to survive their serious injuries. Now, they still won't reveal who they are, but we did learn that plane is registered to a person out of Spokane, and it took off from a runway here in Auburn before crashing in Kent. Among all the planes leaving Auburn Municipal Airport Saturday afternoon, one fixed-wing single-engine Challenger 2 plane never made it back. Within minutes of taking off, it ended up at this storage facility in Kent. I would suspect something more serious happened to them than just a fuel starvation issue or what have you. Richard Newman is the president of Puget Sound Flyers at Payne Field. He has over 21,000 flight hours spanning 52 years, and he's familiar with what it takes to fly a Challenger 2. A minimum requirement is the light sports certificate and uh, 25 to 30 hours of training is all that's required, plus several tests and annual inspections. He says this type of plane has a popular following. This airplane is built primarily for going off and having fun, even running out to Friday Harbor for lunch or something like that. FlightAware shows the plane managed to reach 1,400 feet before crashing within less than five minutes of taking off. The planes do not go that fast. They're extremely light. Puget Sound Regional Fire Authority was told there were mechanical issues on board, leading the parts of the plane, even the cockpit, to scatter across the storage facility. But the exact cause of the crash is still under investigation. We checked in with affordable self-storage Kent. An employee tells us around eight units were affected and no one was in them at the time of the crash. The NTSB is set to investigate, but because this crash happened on Saturday, it's going to take a while before we find out exactly what led to this crash. Until then, we'll be keeping you updated on air and online on Fox13Seattle.com. In Auburn, Nia Wong, Fox 13 News.